Hey everybody, Rich here. In this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to scan stuff into GIMP from a USB scanner. And also I will be explaining a little bit about DPI, that being dot per inch, and how to uh, determine which DPI to use. Now assuming you have your scanner hooked up and the proper drivers installed, all you have to do is go to File, Create, and then from Scanner slash Camera and just go from there. The scanner I have is an older HP PSC 1610 all-in-one printer scanner copier. It's old, but it does the job and it works, so I have no need to replace it. So uh, if you had other sources in here, such as a digital camera, it would show up in this list, but this is the only source I have now, so I'm going to select it. This is the part which may be different depending on what scanner you have. However, even if it looks different, <clears throat> excuse me, they all work the same way. You select what type of scan you want to do, whether it's color, grayscale, two color black and white, or a custom, and then you select the dot per inch. Now for this one, I'm going to just do a plain 200 dpi in color. Uh, what I will be scanning is a mailer that Google sent me for the their AdWords service or something like that. It is an eight and a half by ten sheet, I believe. I don't think it's a full eight and a half by eleven. And I'm going to scan that in, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like, and also what to expect for a, a, a pixel size with a 200 dpi scan. So I'm going to hit OK. I hit Preview first, and the reason you do a preview is so uh, what will happen is that after the preview, the you'll notice these boxes will auto crop around the thing you want to scan, which it did, and then you just hit scan and it goes in there. Now I'm going to pause this video for a moment, let the scan go through, and then I'll be right back and we'll take a look at the dimensions. Okay, scan is complete and it's coming into the software now, and uh, let me just resize this window a bit. Zoom back. Okay, I'm zoomed back to 25% here, and there is the whole thing. So let's just take a look at this with Alt Enter and look at the image properties. It is 1506 by 2060 pixel. That's uh, 200 by 200 ppi. And the total number of pixels here is uh, what is that? Three million? Three point? Yeah, 3.1 million. Yeah. And this shows the print size in millimeters. Now, would this be suitable for printing, if you had to? Sure, 200 dpi, it's fine for printing. If I actually view it in full size at 100%, you'll notice it's pretty large. And uh, being this scan has text on it, which is you know non-obtrusive and doesn't run into each other, it's got a lot of white space in other words, sure, this will this will print out just fine, but if you really want, and let me just close this one out first, if you really want something which is still considered a high resolution scan, you would be better off doing a 600 dpi. So I'm going to scan this next one, I'm going to do the same thing I did before, preview this, and then scan it in, and then we'll see how big that one is in pixel dimensions. So I'm going to do this and I'll be right back. Okay, we're just about done here. Okay, yep, it's scanning it. Now this one I'm actually going to show in the video here is how long this image is actually taking the transfer over USB 2 into GIMP. 600 dpi is not small. It's fairly large, especially for an 8x10 sheet. So, <laughs> yeah, it, this is going to be a rather large image uh, pixel wise. Actually, I'll pause this again and just let this finish. All right, we're just about done. Okay. Let me scroll this in the view, zoom back. Okay, I am zoomed back to 9%. <laughs> okay, if I actually zoomed in all the way to 100. Yeah, that's huge. <laughs> So anyway, let me go back to, uh, oops, put a dot there by mistake. Back, 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 back. There, 9%. Let's take a, the look at the, the image properties for this one. Okay. 4,494 pixel by 6,156 pixel. Huge. First scan, anyway. So, and the reason I'm showing you this is 600 dpi, definitely still considered a high resolution scan. So, 
and uh, it's got a 252 meg size in memory so that's pretty darn big so let's close this out and I'm actually gonna go crazy here and I am going to scan in a 4800 DPI <laughs> so I'll do the same thing again uh, I will actually grayscale this one actually you know what I'll, I'll black and white this one because I want this scan to go through as fast as I can because I know 4800 is going to take a long time so if I do just uh, yeah 4800 black and white alright fine by me preview that and I will go ahead and scan this in and we'll check out how ridiculously large this one is going to be so be right back alright <laughs> and we're back um, I'm showing the Windows Task Manager on purpose because when's the last time you saw GIMP using 1.2 gigs of memory just to render an image well it is when you're using 4800 by 4800 DPI that's for sure okay here's the big thing oh by the way it zoomed back to 1.56 percent and what are the image dimensions 36,760 pixels by 49,249 pixels size in memory 7.9 gigs number of pixels a ton <laughs> a lot so yeah, um, I should note that if you dare to do a 4800 DPI scan and you're not, you don't have at least four gigs of memory in your system, there is the likelihood you may run out of memory and crash Windows. That is a possibility. So if I actually try to view this at 100%, I don't even, oh jeez, <laughs> that is crazy. I don't even know where I am on the paper. I'm trying to at least find a letter of some type here. <laughs> oh wait, 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 oh, I just passed one. Damn. Yeah, see, now it's thinking about it. Well, that's what happens. You know, were it not for the fact that I have 8 gigs of RAM in my system, um, you could do this with 4. Yeah, this is all hourglass to hell now. Well, that's what happens when you do 4800 DPI scans. Uh, <laughs> let's just say it's huge. It's 36,760 by 49,249. So uh, I would stick to 600 DPI. That's all I'm saying. 